Uh, we are at Kielder Observatory here, which is a fantastic place, wonderful atmosphere, uh, wonderful dark skies, wonderful landscape, and uh, we are here uh, filming the sky at night. It's the day at the moment, but it will be night, and when it is the night, then we'll start filming, but we need to do our preparations for the sky at night in the day, and so that's what we're doing. Television. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the sky at night. We've come to the gorgeous and remote Kildra Observatory in Northumberland where we're promised some of England's darkest skies. We have something exciting happening in just a few hours time. An asteroid will be making one of the closest approaches to Earth in recent times and we're hoping to see it. Many, many people here caught a glimpse of it. Very faint, moving much faster than people thought. Well, it might have been a bacteria sort of running across in my field of vision, or it might have been a moth that has lost its way in February and shouldn't be there, but the binoculars made it look like a dead fire in my asteroid. The sky at night is synonymous with astronomy. It's the longest running TV series anywhere in the world with the same presenter one and only Sir Patrick Moore. I'd like to begin by showing you my own first telescope. Here it is, it's a three inch refractor, and I had it when I was a boy of 11, and that goes back to 1934. His enthusiasm uh, just ran through the programme, and uh, I, I think the subject like astronomy, like the night sky, it needs someone with that kind of personality to really bring across the fascination, and there's so much to remember, so many facts, so many astronomical distances, I think this is the only personality that could possibly be used to convey it all. Sir Patrick was of course an accomplished astronomer, but he always maintained he was just an amateur, and in his own words he said simply, my aim was to spread interest about astronomy, and that's exactly what we aim to do at the Kielder Observatory. And we're about to see something that no one now living has ever seen. So let's hope the skies stay clear. Sir Patrick Moore died in December 2012, so as a lasting tribute to this remarkable man, we decided to name our lower observatory after him. And we were delighted to have the Sky at Night team at the observatory to film the Moore Winter Marathon episode. Patrick just brought astronomy to life uh, and anybody who has um, taken up astronomy over the last 55 odd years, uh, it's, you know, it's going to have been Patrick who inspired them. Well I've been up here a couple of times now and it's a fantastic facility and Patrick would have absolutely loved it. It's open to the public, there are easy access into big telescopes and that's exactly what Patrick was all about. I think he would have been delighted with this facility. Well, I know Patrick would have wanted to come up here. I know he did want to come up here and never quite made it. And he would have been delighted by the renaming of the observatory, which John Coshaw did so so wonderfully uh, yesterday. So, so Patrick would have enjoyed it. Um, he would have been rampaging around swearing at the clouds, probably, sometime <laughs> around now. Uh, but that sense of getting people out and appreciating the sky, that's what it's all about. I mean, the first words scripted for the first sky at night were about astronomy being for everyone. Um, and I think that's exactly what this place is about. If you look up into the sky on any dark night, you will see thousands of stars, and all these stars are suns in their own right. Many of them may have other planets going round them, other Earths if you like. I'm sure they have, and I'm also sure that many of these other Earths are inhabited, some by people who know as much as we do, and others by races who know a great deal more. If we are ever going to contact those other civilizations which must exist, it's got to be done, I think, by some method about which we know absolutely nothing at the present moment. And I suspect we are just about as far away from that kind of thing as King Canute was from television.
Thank you.